Gambler poses as a doctor for money but accidentally becomes famous. He cured the townspeople of all their ailments. Nock is a wandering gambler. He owed a lot of debts. While hiding from capture, he saw a notice for a doctor on a cruise ship. He fooled the captain and he owned the ship. He didn't have any medical knowledge, but he didn't panic. He thought he could get away with it by memorizing some medical knowledge. One day, a crew member came down with eczema. Nock couldn't come up with any medical explanation. The crewman was lying in bed and kept saying he had eczema and telling him how to fix it. Nock doesn't know anything but nods his head and says he's right. He asked the captain to give the crew member a leave of absence. Nock then went on deck and saw a rich woman with sunburn. He knows he's got a chance to make some money. He told the woman that her face was sunburned and she should put on some skincare products. The woman saw how much he cared for her and felt good about him. Nock then goes to the kitchen, takes the expired whale from the trash and goes back to his room. He separates the whale oil, adds rose essence to it, and puts it in a nice little bottle. Then he takes the bottle to the woman. He told her it was an extremely valuable skincare product and gave it to her for free to use before bed. The woman immediately took it. Nock didn't realize that his random stuff really worked. The next morning, the woman knocked on Nock's door. She said his skincare product was very useful and bought it for $90,000. This gesture made Nock think that being a doctor was very lucrative. So he quit his job at the captain's and said, he was going to be a doctor. Five years later, with his medical license, he moved to a small town. He took over the clinic of a retired physician and asked the letter carrier to tell the villagers one thing for him. He can treat them every Tuesday for free. As publicity money, Nock gave the mailman a VIP, saying that he could skip the line to see the doctor. Nock then went to the only drugstore in town. He went in and saw that it was in a state of disrepair. The previous doctor here only saw patients but didn't prescribe medication, which nearly put the pharmacy out of business. Nock talked to the owner about his plan. On Tuesdays, he would let the people know that they all had some kind of health problem during the free diagnosis, so that Nock's clinic would have people coming in to see him. Residents saw that Nock was very conscientious and didn't charge too much, so more and more people came to him. Besides, Nock fell in love at first sight with Mary from the town. After spending time with him, Mary fell in love, but things couldn't have gone so smoothly. The long lines at the clinic caused the town priest to get upset. The priest was jealous when he saw his flock crowded outside the clinic. That's when a man who knew Nock's past experience arrived. The priest caught him hiding in the church. He revealed Nock's story to the priest. He said, Nock used to be a gambler with only a little knowledge of medicine, but now he's here to cheat people. Meanwhile, Mary was diagnosed with a lung disease. To treat her, Nock sent him to a hospital in the city, but it didn't last long. Mary wasn't cured. She died. Nock was devastated. At Mary's memorial service, which was attended by everyone, the priest revealed Nock's true colors in front of everyone. Nock couldn't refute it, although he sincerely wanted to cure everyone at this time. What the priest said was also true. Ashamed, Nock didn't say a word and he left the church, but the people he helped wouldn't let him go. They ran out to stop Nock. A boy with a stutter stood in front of the car and stopped him. He urged him to stay here with words that were urgent and fluent. Listening to everyone's words, Nock shed tears of emotion. And that's the end of the story. The movie is called Nock. We'll see you next time.